Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Pranus. Um, it's kind of a vintage radio. So it's an FM, AM, shortwave, three-band, uh, USB, TF, and AUX in uh, music player. So they have two colors, the red and the bronze. I'm going to call it bronze. Um, I picked the red one. That's um, just my preference. And it is rechargeable, so you don't have to buy batteries for it. And you can insert a TF card or a USB flash drive. Or you can just listen to FM, AM, or shortwave radio. And you can also, it's not listed here, but its um, you can also do Bluetooth. I'm surprised it's not listed. But you can do Bluetooth for sure. So anyway, let's open it up. Okay, so you get this right here. This is the AUX cable. What else? <coughs> you get some instructions, which I'm sure you won't need. So let's just get to the radio. And here it is. Ooh, it's stuck to everything. Wow. It's definitely beautiful in person. So let's go around it. At the front, we have the tuning knob. On the bottom, we have the pause menu button then we have the um, rewind or previous track and forward or next track over here we have an LED right here we have a selector that chooses between um, shortwave AM FM and music and then over here we have the volume knob so that's the front right here we have the holes for the speaker to the left we have nothing to the right we have the USB port the TF card port the insert slot I should say um, we have the aux cable hole we have the charging port and then we have an LED that says charge so on the back we have nothing basically just some um, information about this device and we do have a hole there that is um, used to enhance the base. It's a uh, model J160, if you're wondering. On the bottom, we have uh, just bumper, these um, rubber things, pegs, rubber pegs, so that it doesn't slip. And on the top, we don't really have anything other than the antenna or aerial, whichever way you want to call it. It extends upward, but it does not pivot. I don't think that's an issue. The material is, is um, it's very credible. It's trying to, I think it's plastic, but it very credibly seems like wood. It's definitely made to look like wood. I would doubt that it's wood, but I'm, I'm so sure that I'm having my doubts about this. It's such a high quality. You see this cuts right here. It's made to look like it was put together. The front, probably plastic, but it's also a high quality plastic that seems to be metal. So I'm definitely impressed with the um, ability to imitate wood and metal. This is by no means cheap plastic. This is very, sounds like wood, sounds like either aluminum or metal. Um, the buttons right here, these are definitely plastic and they don't look like metal. They, they don't feel like metal, they're just plastic. And same thing here, this is not fooling anybody, this is plastic. For sure, and then we have this golden knob right here, 
which is clearly plastic, it's not fooling anybody. And that's it. So let's just look at it some more from uh, close up. Before I turn it on. It's nice and solid. There's no slack. There's no... If I try to twist it, you don't hear any cracks or anything. It's like a car engine. It's completely solid. No slack. Nothing. Even the buttons are fairly tight. There's a minimal amount of slack. This one doesn't have any slack. This one has a minimal amount of slack. And this one basically doesn't have any slack. The speaker is not visible, but I'm sure it's there. And these pegs are also very massive and seem to be high quality. I hope they don't come off. On the bottom, you see that sticker that says QC. That means quality control pass 08. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's um, 2008. I doubt it. Okay, folks, so we are outside, and the only reason why I come out here is so you can see it in daylight, so you can see the colors and more details in sunshine. So this is how it looks like. Sorry about that car. Because sometimes uh, the sunlight will reveal some more details that you can't see indoors. Let's see this back part, it almost looks like wood. It sounds like wood. Let me turn it on out here, see how it sounds. The chats with friends. Oh, nice background filter, Jess. Live like a gagillionaire. Get internet that upgrades everything. AT&T Fiber. Now it speeds up to 5 gig. Okay, so that was that. Okay, so now it's time to turn this on, so let's go to the fireplace and let's turn it on and see how it works. Okay, so we are at the fireplace and just for fun, we're going to do this um, examination right on top of this uh, vintage fireplace that I bought and I have reviewed already and next to this clock, so it'll go with the radio and this lantern that smells a lot like gas and it's kind of annoying. But anyway, let's turn on the fire. There we go. Okay, so let's power it up. And we're going to start with shortwave. Let's see what that does. Let me extend the antenna. So this is, this is shortwave. Okay, so that was shortwave. There's not a lot in shortwave, so let's move on to AM. Okay, so this is AM.
we need to tell these elected people um, that represent the Catholic, which is the bishop, the Pope, everybody, that they need to say no. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. and then put on gloves and give communion to us. That's Sister Melinda Perelin, the first and only African-American sister in her Springfield, Massachusetts Congress. And hope to inspire some of you who haven't made plans about your final... We see Aramaic. You can almost watch... <laughs> Oh, yeah. George to tell us some little lies. Some lies. Turn trip next year. One, five, five, eight. Look out for daily. Oh, good. Okay, so that was AM. As you probably heard, uh, AM is mostly politics and religion, so let's move on to FM, which I'm expecting to be more about music and entertainment. So that's, um,. It's FM right here. CBS News and host of Joe on Money. Hi, Joe. Hello. Okay, let's talk about personal finance and interest rates. I mean, for years. This is for the question. Shop for maintenance repairs. Oh, are you kidding? The company's trying to lowball you. Good daily special. Pacificado con. Vamos a sufrir mucho de la misma manera como se estuvo que. Por eso te digo que. Okay, so that was Okay, so that was um, FM I didn't stop at any station with music Because I don't want to get a copyright strike So that covers the radio part so the next thing I want to talk about is down here where it says music. Music basically covers, if I go down there, you see the, the LED turns on. So that's going to basically cover Bluetooth, USB, and TF. And I'm, I'm sure the AUX. And we're going to test all four of them and um, see what they do. So let's go back to the table. Okay, folks, so we are back at my desk, and we are now going to test the other um, functions. So we're going to be testing Bluetooth. I have some music in this phone. And we're also going to be testing the um, USB flash drive function. I have some music in this flash drive. And we're going to be testing the TF card um, music function. And I do have some music in this TF card. And the last thing we're going to do is test the AUX cable function. So here's the cable that is provided with this radio. And here's the speaker that I bought separately. So this is not included, of course. And it does have an AUX hole. I was hoping to use my Sony speaker, but um, they decided to be modern, so they don't include a, a hole. But anyway, so let's start with the... This right here, the USB flash. So basically, the thing you have to do is just plug it in if you want, before or after you turn it on, doesn't really matter. But you have to turn, uh, you have to plug it in, and then you turn it on. Bluetooth mode. Play by USB drive. Okay, so. Let me pause. 
So as you can see, it automatically detects that there's a USB drive there. You can see it flashing. Let me turn off the lights. So it is kind of awkward that they chose to put this on the side instead of the back. They have plenty of space back here, but they chose to put this on the side. So yeah, it does look awkward like that. But um, I'm not the manufacturer. They did it. So let's keep looking at this. Well, one thing I do have to mention, I have to pause just to let you know that although the um, the radio was acceptable, um, the when you hear the music from that memory, it's actually fairly impressive. I'm, I'm surprised at the quality of this. I was not expecting that. It's fairly high quality. I'm, I'm surprised. You can actually feel it moving a little. So the other buttons, this is pause, play, and this is a uh, previous track and next track. So let's test that. Let's go to the next track. Let's go to the next track. As you can see, this lights up, but it doesn't actually do anything. If you if you play, and I'm going to move this, you're going to notice that it doesn't do anything. Okay, so I think I have one more track there. Okay, so the next thing I want to test is the, um, let me turn on the lights. I'm going to pull this out and set it aside because I don't need it anymore. <clears throat> um, the next thing I want to test is the TF card. So I picked the white one so you can see it. But normally I wouldn't put a white uh, white one here because it's kind of visible. I would put the black one that I have. On, I have another one that is black. So I already have some uploaded music into this um, TF card. So we're just going to plug it in like this. I hope I'm doing that right. No, I am not. There we go. So you can't really see it because the white part is facing the back anyway. So, so let's test it and see what it does. Let me turn off the lights. Power it up. It's, it's going to be the same music. So we're just going to make a comparison and see if they sound the same. Again, I am very impressed by the quality and the bass that you, you're getting from this. I wasn't expecting that, especially being a vintage uh, device. I was expecting something to be a, a little bit inferior. I thought they would do that on purpose to make the device more vintage. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word correctly, vintage, retro, throwback, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's, it sounds very modern when you're using it from a memory. When, it, when you were doing the radio, it sounded just normal radio. There was no bass to it. But from the memory, it does sound like a lot of bass. Let's keep hearing. Next song. Okay, so that went well. So let me pull out this TS card. I'm not going to mess with it anymore, but it went extremely well. So it was fairly low profile. You can't even see that it's there. But anyway, let's take that out. So like I said, I do like this because it kind of hides into the device. I did not like this because it was all sticking out like that. So the next thing I want to do is test the um, AUX cable. So like I said, this is included with the device. So you get that for free, which is nice because I am going to use this for something else. Not for this. Because uh, for this, I'm going to be using that TF card or the Bluetooth. But anyway, um, I was going to use the speaker, but I don't think since this says AUX, I don't think you can attach speakers to it, but we're going to test it anyway. See what happens. So first thing I want to do is get that music. So we go over here. And let's go to files. Okay, so we're on Bluetooth mode. So let's move on to um, AUX mode. To do that, you press and hold this button right here, the pause button the pass play m button AUX mode. okay so there we are so let's find that music Okay, let's listen to the next track. Next track. Okay, so that's how that works. And I do think it's kind of a dumb way to, if you're going to buy something vintage like this and you're going to connect it to this, it's not going to, it doesn't sound like a good idea. 
So let me get rid of that. And the last thing I want to try is um, see if you can hear anything through here. Through this speaker. So we power it up. Power on. Bluetooth connected. So the answer is no, it cannot detect any music, unfortunately. Okay, so that does not work. So unfortunately, you're going to have to listen through, um, through here. If you want to listen to this device, you cannot add speakers to it that I know of. I don't see any other way of adding a speaker. But it's still high quality. So anyway, let's move on to Bluetooth. So let's, let's take this off. Let me power this off. Power off. Okay, so I am going to teach you how to pair this. And although I think that's, this is universal, I do get a lot of angry people when I don't teach people how to pair the Bluetooth part. Um, a lot of people um, leave a lot of negative comments saying that I didn't do the review correctly and that I missed the most important part. So let's um, go to Bluetooth. Let's go to settings. And then on the second option, it's uh, Bluetooth and connected devices. And let's, uh, this is an older phone, by the way. So let's go to Bluetooth mode. Note. Okay, so let's um, connect a new device, and it's going to be the J160, J160, and do you want to share contacts? I'm going to say yes, and then link or pair. So you heard that, that means that it's paired. So now we're going to listen to the music from here again. So you can put this aside, you don't need it anymore. Pause it. Let's listen to the next track. Next track. Next track. Last track. Okay, so that's the last track because so when you um, press next and it doesn't do anything, that means that you reached the end of the list. Okay, folks, so we have reached the end of this review. And overall, I will give this thing a five stars out of five because I think it's great. Couldn't find any flaws in it. Everything went perfectly. Actually, everything went beyond what I expected from it. So it is fantastic. The only bad thing about it is that you can't connect external speakers to it. I thought you could from, from the aux. 
um, but that's just to receive music from a device. So it'll play it through the internal speakers, but you can't, you can't send any music out to other speakers. You have to use this speaker all the time. So having said that, I'm very satisfied. I'm 100% satisfied with it. And I do recommend it 100%. It gets five stars out of five. So thank you for watching. So let's play a tune just to say goodbye.